Hi you guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, let me introduce myself. My name is Lindsay. I have a three-year-old son named Lennox. So I started my YouTube channel with making motherhood and lifestyle content. And it seems as if you guys really enjoy my Target Shop With Me videos. So that is where like my focus is right now. But like the past few videos, I wanted to pause and just do like uh, Christmas inspired gifts for you and stuff like that. And with that said, today I am going to do stocking stuff for ideas for toddler they're completely 100 gender neutral everything that i'm showing today it's not boy or girl it's just everything is gender neutral so i hope this gives you ideas but stay tuned because there will definitely be more target shop with me contents coming up um like i said you guys really enjoy those and i enjoy making them so there will be more of that to come but i'm gonna jump in and get started with the stocking stuff for ideas i'm really excited about my stocking stuffer ideas for this year because I feel like they're unique. Like, you know, when I, I was like contemplating, I'm like, they're, they're pretty unique items. Like these, you know, you're not going to be able to find everywhere. I did try and find like similar items just so that like you guys could shop online if you wanted to. But for the most part, I'm pretty happy with my finds. So let's jump in to get started. Just as a disclaimer, this video is specifically for parents. If you are a child under the age of 18, please do not use, um, please do not view this video. And if you currently have children around, please do not watch this video with them around as well. So the very first item, I'm gonna have to take it apart like Christmas Eve and put it in the stocking um, because it's not gonna go in like this. But I did get a hearth and hand top for my son. It was $9.99 and it's a really good size like it's fairly big and what the instructions say is you know your child can play with it it is ages eight and up but my son loves stuff that spins so we're going to help him do it but basically what it says is if your child gets older or outgrows the toy you can just use it every christmas as decor and i think it's actually a great gift to pass down in the generations like i hope he can give this to his children just because it's like um well made it's wooden and then you can use it like as decor so i thought that was really sweet idea just to pull this off um the handle at the top is like much smaller than the rest of the top um it is a little bit on the heavy side so if your child is younger you know you may need to help them but i thought this was a good find it is child's play it's like montessori so if you're into those types of things um, I'm going to link it if they still have them in stock, fingers crossed, hopefully they do. I know Hearth and Hand still had some of their toys available, so hopefully they still do. So the next thing that I found was this glow in the dark push pop stress buster. Um, I know these aren't like unique. This is like the one item that wasn't super unique, but everybody has them. My son loves bubble wrap. So I thought it was a good combination to get him. Um, they are fairly expensive. Like if you look at Target, they're like $7.99, $8, or you can buy them like at fairs and stuff and they're very overpriced. This was $3.99 at Marshall's and it was originally $6. So I got that and then it is glow in the dark. It says ages three and up. I will say the only thing that might be disappointing him because I got the cheap one, it doesn't make a popping noise. And I think they're supposed to, which is why they're called like poppets. Very little. There. So we'll see. I know kids love these. I just thought we'd jump on board, especially since my son loves um, bubble wrap. I thought he would find this interesting. So it's like a good concentration toy, good fine motor. Um, it's soft, so it's like something that can't really be broken. So there is that. My son is very into musical instruments right now. And I saw this harmonica at Zara. This is it's $9.99. I wanna say it was a little bit more than that, but again, it's something that he can hang on to. He can pass down to his children. It's wooden, it's very pretty. I love how they, the screws are like, golden and it's gender neutral colors there's like pink and blue in it or it's like a purplish and blue um it plays really 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 well it's like a well-made harmonica let me see see like i barely even have to blow and it makes like so much noise he has another one that's just much cheaper it came with like a musical set and it doesn't play as well as this one so i thought it's a good keepsake along with the top i thought it's something he can carry on generations to come and I cannot link all my Zara stuff. It came from Zara Home Kids, but I will try and find one similar. 
And yeah, just I think it's a really neat gift and it's like very, very thoughtful, something that he can hang on to forever and ever. Okay, I'm so excited about these next things because I have not seen them before. So I got them at the Target Dollar Spot, which you know you can't shop most of it online, but I did find something very similar online, which I'll link. And there was like different kinds and they're starting to sell out. So definitely jump on that soon. Um, this is Bath Confetti by Crayola and I can't find it like on Amazon or anything like that. So it's sold exclusively right now to Target Dollar Spot. It was a dollar and it just comes with all these little pieces of confetti that dissolve in the bathtub. So if you're worried about like a mess or whatever, like it does dissolve and it is scented. It says scented soap flakes, color your bathtub water. So it's very similar to like bath paint, except it's in the form of confetti. So it says parents scoop a palm size amount of bath confetti soap into a tub full of warm water, watch the water turn into a colorful bath and allow to dissolve before entering the tub. Rinse skin and bathtub thoroughly with fresh warm soapy water to remove colorants and soapy residue after bathing. So this is the thing that I found very similar. They sell them for like women, like with like bath bombs and stuff. They have stars, they have hearts. So I will link those. I can't link these in particular, but if you're at your Target dollar spot or about to go, definitely check it out. If not, you can purchase one of the ones that I have linked. And then very similar, they have this bath dust, which I feel like might make more of a mess, but it's extremely heavy. So you can feel there's like a whole lot in here and you obviously don't dump it in all, in all at once. So I'm gonna put it in like a Ziploc bag and we'll do like a scoop a night. And I think it should last us a pretty long time. They only had the violet color um, and it's called Vivid Violet Grape Scent. So this one is scented as well. It tints bubbles, so it does fizz a little bit and scents bath water. Super fun. You're supposed to sprinkle two tablespoons, which is kind of a lot, of bath bubbly dust under warm running water as the tub fills. Watch the water color and bubble. Rinse skin thoroughly with warm water and soap afterwards. So I couldn't link this. This was another exclusive dollar spot and I couldn't really find anything similar to it but I wanted to point that out as well in case if you are going to Target before Christmas, I think these are both really, really neat finds. Okay, another thing I found in the Target dollar spot, and I'm gonna try and find a small one like this to link as well because it does fit perfectly in the stocking, is this xylophone. So I'm like a terrible parent. I've never gotten my son a xylophone before and he's obsessed, he loves instruments. So this was $3 when I saw it at the dollar spot. He was actually with me and I quick snuck it into my bag. Um, but yeah, it's really cute. I like the colors, how they have like the pink and the pastel -y greens and blues. Really, really cute. And it comes with the mallets. It has two of them on the back. And it's for ages three and up. So I figure, you know, if he ends up not liking it or if it breaks, it was only $3. I know some of them are like seven to $10, like the Melissa and Doug ones, or maybe even more. So I think this is a great starter. Um, they have them at our playground. They have like really large ones that he plays with obsessively. So this should be really fun for him. Again, I will try and link a smaller version that you can fit in your stocking. But as you can see, this like fits perfect. Okay, here's another fun one, which I believe I'll be able to find a link. I'll see if I can find one as small as this, but I got it in the Target dollar spot again, is this bop bag. They had different kinds. They had like, you know, pink and purple ones, and then they had like an orangish one. But this one specifically has like, I think it's an alligator or dinosaur. It's a dinosaur guys, not an alligator. It's called a bop bag and it's ages three and up. And what the instructions prompt you to do is put either sand or water in the bottom of it. And my son loves like wild destructive things like this. So that's why I picked it up, but you blow it up. It's 32 inches tall and then it deflates for easy storage. It's super light. It fits in the stocking, no problem. See, like do you ever hear of someone getting like a bot bag in their stocking? Like, I feel like my stuff is pretty unique guys, don't you? Well, thanks to Target, but you know what I mean. I got the idea that like, oh, I can actually use these as stocking stuffers. Or you can even wrap this as a gift, to be honest. So yeah, I think this is really, really neat. And I think it's something that kids would love. And they come with like different colors and different designs and characters on them. But this is the one I got. And 
as of right now, we're just gonna fill it with water. I have kinetic sand, but not real sand. Um, but you do need like a weight at the bottom so that when you bop it, it comes back up. Okay, lastly, this is not unique, but it's like a classic, like in the last pop, last few years, I feel like, are the Crayola Finger Bath Paint. And I will be able to link these. They usually have them on Amazon, but they're a dollar each. Um, I just picked up one. I picked up a blue one. I didn't get a whole bunch because then it just becomes like obsessive. He wants one every night. And I wanted to leave some for everybody else at the store. So I got one and yeah, we just got a simple blue bath paint. If I can get my hands on bath crayons, I think I'm gonna do that as well because my son hasn't really been into like writing lately and I'm hoping to get it out of him like in the bathtub, but the price has gone up like $3. It was like $4.99 for bath crayons or $3.99 and now they're $7.99. I'm like, that's just like too much for crayons. Um, so this and the dust and the bath confetti, I think are all great alternatives and just something fun we can do at the bathtub. But I'm so excited to share like these ideas with you because I think they're pretty unique. Again, not thanks to me, but thanks to mostly Target Dollar Spots. Let me know, did you get your children anything unique for their stocking or just their presents as, um, you know, as well for Christmas? Let me know in the comments down below. That is going to conclude today's video, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. If you enjoyed today's video and want to see more like it in the future, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.